Hi, Alex. I'm Carl from Nile. Hi. How you How doing? doing? I play guitar, write songs. So this is the new one. There's a different approach, there's a different attitude, there's a different spirit about it. We made this record for our fans. Uh, this time by Michael Zay Laurent. Uh, he also did Those Whom the Gods Detest. Uh, we really like his work. It's good stuff. We just gave him the lyrics to the title track and I wrote a few paragraphs about you know, the meaning of it. And okay. Just let him do whatever he wanted. Doing the research for Nile is kind of a, a pastime and, and learning. Uh, I've certainly built my library up researching for Nile songs. Um, and that's where a lot of it comes from. Um, and I write the lyrics first, so that kind of guides the rest of the music. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of like a, having a path, a map. If you actually read the lyrics and understand what I'm saying, you can probably glean from it my own political stance. Although I don't necessarily think that's what's important. My viewpoint is irrelevant. Um, this is history, you know. The genesis of the song was uh, a bunch of articles from 2012 uh, from radical clerics calling for the destruction of the pyramids. I mean, made, you know, these incredible radical speeches and demands, uh, you know, why the pyramids should be torn down and why they're a blasphemy. And, you know, and I saw all this and I was like, this is a fucking metal song. This is a metal song. Every word out of this guy's mouth would be an incredible lyric for a metal song. So, okay, here we go. Took the direct quote. That way there's no misinterpretation. This is what he said. Very clever. This is exactly what he said. Here it is. These are their intentions. This is what they want to do. That's why they want to do it. And there you go. It's truth. No one, no one can actually say I did anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. That's what he said. Uh, of course, my inbox has been exploding since uh, the lyric video to Call Destruction came out. Uh, we put a disclaimer in the beginning of that video, you know, explaining, you know, our, our position. We, we don't endorse any political or religious ideologies. We're just calling attention to what these people are doing and saying. Um, but still, my inbox exploded with people from all points of view, from left-wing Muslim sympathizers going, I can't believe you're, you're saying these bad things about Islam, which I'm not. I didn't say anything. That's what they said, okay? So I'm not saying anything bad about Islam. We're not anti-Islam. Then I had right-wing fucking nationalist people going, yes, let's destroy the entire region, let's nuke the entire place, fuck all those people. Which of course is another ridiculous viewpoint. I'm not calling for anything. I'm just saying, this is what these fuckers said, this is what they want to do. Make of it what you will. I think it makes a great metal song. Uh, usually when fans have a question, they come across completely different than people who are just trying to beat you up into publicly taking their viewpoint. Yeah, I can tell the difference. We're really happy to be on tour with Suffocation and bringing our new record to our fans. Uh, to me, fans are all important. Of course. They're, they are who actually matters. They're the people that support the scene. It's who makes everything possible. We went to Dubai. Um, we actually had plans to go to Cairo and play with a band there called Scarab. Yes. Didn't work out, and lately it seems like the political situation there mm -hmm. is even more iffy. Dramatic. So who knows when that will happen.